Judy, You're Not Yourself Today, Season 2, Episode 11, Original Air Date, June 12th, 1990. Donald and Judy are a couple of insufferable idiots, and when a witch shows up at the door, she uses Judy's vanity against her to switch bodies. Donald does use a clever trick to switch them back, but of course that's not the end, this is Tales from the Crypt here. Not so tough now, is she? No! And probably because the witch is just a little bit more clever, they switch again. Or did they? Either way, in the end, they get what they deserve. There's also a slight commentary about guns in the episode. Well, more specifically, a moron with a lot of guns in the episode. But it isn't the sole focus of the story. I am sure that this fine young man has heard absolutely all the NRA rhetoric he wishes to hear today. That's right, Lenny. I've heard it all. Well, oh, where were you during Vietnam? I was six years old. Yeah, likely excuse. The most obnoxious thing in the episode, besides Donald and Judy, is the driving musical score. It is so obnoxious, it goes all the way to the point of nausea. Oh, dear. Either. All to let you, the viewer, know that, hey, it's a comedy. But it really only adds to that obnoxious tone. So between Donald and Judy switching up accents to be pretentious, even to complete strangers, and that dorky-ass piano music, it really does make for a piss-poor episode. But you will feel a little sad at the end of the episode, if you have any kind of compassion, or if you look at it as though it's a child who made a mistake, and there's no one around to fix it. They're completely helpless. Darling, oh, no, it can't be so. There. James Bond. I've been a naughty boy. Other than that, I would say to skip it unless you absolutely need to see every episode. Also, as pointed out by one of my wonderful patrons, I have been giving a lot of low ratings to these episodes in season 1 and 2 so far, but that is really just for the individual episodes themselves. I love Tales from the Crypt as a series, the Crypt Keeper, he's the real star of the show, he's worth it alone just to see it all. And probably most importantly, I like what the show represents. It represents horror, it represents anthologies, and horror anthologies, because that's what it is. And that's something that we could always use more of. But unfortunately, for this episode, I do give it a 2 out of 10. Help me. Yeah.